Hi, welcome back to the SC Thousand Build guys. So day one, we went through the car, took a bunch of parts off. We got a Boltex front bumper. Today, we're actually gonna unbox what's in here. And also, we got some wheels for the SC Thousand as well. Uh, the wheels that we're gonna be running are actually the old wheels off of the Evo. We finally got the new wheels mounted on the Evo last night. And this is what they look like. They came out pretty sweet. So since the Evo's got new wheels, we can actually use the old wheels on the S2000. So we're gonna clean these up, get some tires mounted on it and put it on. But for now, let's find out what's in the box. All right, so we got some Jace Racing style front fenders. It came with the front bumper attachment and also the wheel well uh, cover. So that's what is gonna be on the next install on this S2000. So let's go ahead and start tearing it apart again and let's see how these fenders mount up. So these are the Duraflex Jace Racing Style Fenders. So they don't come pre-drilled and there's gonna be quite a bit of work that we're gonna have to do to them to make them fit. As we can see, the fitment's already not looking super promising. So yeah, let's, uh, let's try and get these uh, to fit as best as they can. Okay, so we got the top holes drilled out. So I was only able to get this bolt in, this bolt in, and the door bolt. You can kind of see it in there. I have no idea where this tab is supposed to go. It doesn't line up with anything. The bolt that's supposed to go in this area is clear over here. So I'm gonna have to probably either drill and tap a hole down here for this to secure or just re-fiberglass this to come over about an inch and a half to go into the proper hole. So from here, the top is secured. Um, we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to do a little bit of sanding to make this more flush. Um, and then there's another bolt that will go actually underneath here and have the two lined up like that. Um, from here, all we need to do is mount this tab. And then there's three tabs right there, right there. And those are gonna suck this guy in like so um well yeah duraflex parts typically don't have the best fitment and again this is a very temporary setup i just want this car to look as good as possible for now and we'll eventually actually get more authentic parts and actually make it look pretty uh don't mind the shovel holding it up um the hood dampers were actually getting in the way so i figured might as well use a shovel to hold it up and also don't mind the coffee. But yeah, slowly but surely we're making a little bit of progress. So let's keep at it and get this fender installed. We got the whole fender secured. Right here has a little bit of a gap in it, but it's because this tab, I need to actually add more material to have it come down about an inch. Um, you can probably see it right about here. You see where that bolt goes? That tab's actually about an inch off of it. So we need to 
bring that down a bit so we can get that to secure. And then we'll suck this guy right in. Um, we do need to sand right here to get this body line right. And then with that, the only thing that's a little bit suspect is this gap right here. But we're gonna get some side skirts that should blend that in pretty well. Um, top fitment, once we get this secured and we get a little bit of this sanded, it'll be a little bit closer. But yeah, um, not perfect by any means, but the tiny bit of fitment issues we can fix and make it pretty dang close, hopefully. So let's go ahead and work on the fender to bumper fitment and we can go from there. All right, the front passenger fender is completely secured. We have mounted there, here in the door area. We got it mounted right there and on the bottom as well. So like I said, we got to do a little bit of fiberglass work to close in this gap right here and as well as right there. And also do a little bit of sanding just to get this door to open without hitting. So, but overall, I mean, for the price, it's really not all that terrible. So there's more that goes with this kit. Um, there's the front bumper extensions and also these guys that are supposed to go inside the fender well area. So we'll see how these mount up. Okay, so taking a look, these are supposed to go up in this area and kind of sit like, like this, but I feel that that's going to cause issues with wheel rubbing. And on top of that too, the, the fitment is, well, terrible. Yeah, taking a look, that wheel is going to poke out little bit too much so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see how it looks like when it's off the jacks when I have tires on it maybe the poke might look good but, but as of right now I don't know it might be a little bit too much poke well we'll see once we get there we still got to get tires put on it's still not mounted all the way on but overall pretty satisfied with how the fenders are coming out just gotta, again, we gotta do a little bit of work. They're not meant to be perfect. Um, and yeah, they were cheap fenders, so better than what we had before, you know, considering they were destroyed, but we're getting there. So far, we're making progress. All right, so at this point, we're just gonna put the driver one on. It's just gonna be a quick time lapse. Um, since we already saw how we put on the passenger one, driver one should be essentially the same thing. So. Um, enjoy. All right, so this fender came with a whole bunch of excess material that we had to cut off just to get it to fit somewhat okay. So yeah, we're gonna we're kind of gonna gonna go with it, and we're gonna have to probably cut more just to get it to fit flush against the other fender. Um, but yeah, whenever you order your wide body parts, it's not the end of the world if the fitment's not perfect, right? Because that's where you can come in. Get yourself a little angle grinder like I got right there and start cutting away or start adding where you need to and get it to fit as best as you can.
All right, we got the driver's side put on. It was uh, yeah, quite a bit more work, but yeah, we're gonna have to fix a few things here. The mount right there is kind of off-centered, so with repositioning, that should be able to suck this guy in. Um, and again, it's missing a tab for where that bolt's supposed to go. But we got one in there, uh, bolt in there. We got the ones on the bottom and bolt right in there. And it's pretty sturdy. So again, we're just gonna have to mess with the fitment just a tiny bit and dial it in. But all right, so here it is with the hood shot. If it's like trash over here, just to be completely honest. I'm gonna have to probably pull this, trim all that fiberglass excess right there to get this to suck in the amount it needs to, as well as heating this up and maybe creating a tab to go off from there. But aside from that, everything else fits pretty decently. Um, again, you know, what can you say for $300 fenders? You, know, you can't really expect perfection. Uh, we ordered some hood uh, pins to suck this guy in. And that side, that line right there fits pretty good once that's sucked in. And same with right here, it starts off pretty good, but then it bows out towards over there. So we're gonna have to figure something out for that. But for now, let's just keep moving along. Um, I wanna get the front bumper back on and just kind of see if I can start getting the full picture. So let's get the bumper back on. All right, so this is essentially, if you can, you know, look past the poor fitment on the driver's side fender. Essentially what it should look like once it's done. Um, I am working on trying to make these spats fit, but they're honestly, the fitment's so bad on it, it might just be way too difficult to do it. They're supposed to essentially go in like this, but there's a huge gap between the bumper and the spat itself. And on the bottom side, it's gotta be bent out just so it can go in like that and tuck in. But then you see the, you know, gap gets worse. So I'm gonna mess around with it, see if maybe if I torch it, heat it up a little bit, I can bend it and trim out more from in here to be able to get it to sit nice and flush. Aside from that, I gotta throw a bolt in here so that way this can sit right where it needs to. I gotta add more material in between this gap right here to suck that in. And then this side is the worst one. So you can see I already got a bit of the fiberglass out there chunked up. So gotta fill all this in with material, mess with the alignment on the hood. And yeah, but I mean, other than that, for $300 fenders, you know, you get what you pay for. Definitely always buy the authentic if you can. Unfortunately, I'm not in the financial position to be able to buy the authentic. So that's the reason why we went with this one. But aside from that, you know, it's gonna take some massaging to get it to fit. But once we get it to fit, I think we can get it pretty dang close. I, uh, I have a good idea of what to do, how to get it going. Um, it's just gonna take a little bit more time than I thought it would. Um, I was hoping this would be an easier install, but you know, sometimes you run across some challenges. But other than that, it's coming along um, from here. I gotta get those front fenders fitted properly. I gotta get those front bumper spats put on. We should have our hood pins tomorrow, so that way that can help with the alignment on the hood. And then from there, all I'm missing is the rear flares. Um, we're missing mirrors and a rear bumper. And then we can start on the full-fledged bodywork, which I think that's when I'm gonna fix the fenders. Because if I'm already sanding down the car, you know, filling in, adding filler wherever I needed, I might as well just wait until, you know, that's already what we're going to be doing. But for now, I'm, I'm pretty stoked with how it looks. Honestly, it's not perfect. But again, this car is not meant to be perfect, right? Um, as much as I want this car to be perfect, I know it's not ever going to be. And all I can do is my best from where it's at now and, and get it to at least a presentable state, right? So, uh, yeah. These are the Duraflex Jays Racing style front fenders. Um, it involves a lot of cutting, a lot of trimming, a lot of heating and bending, and a lot of re-adding material where it, you know, material is missing. So if I were you, save up a little bit extra, buy the authentic stuff, even, you know, I, I know it's expensive. 
Uh, for me, this was just more of a pinch and, you know, eventually we'll, we'll get some nicer ones later down the road. But for now they work. And yeah, this is again what it looks like. video I just got to show you guys we've got the SSRs on the Evo and they look amazing so again I want to give a huge shout out to Fitment Industries for again hooking us up with those wheels on the Evo they look spectacular Fitment's a lot tighter. I'm a lot happier with how it looks. Um, if you're needing any set of wheels, make sure to go Fitment Industries first and see what they have available. You'd honestly be surprised. They have um, all sorts of options available and they have an amazing gallery to see what those wheels will look like on your car before you order them. But that pretty much concludes us for the day. Um, again, we got the fenders mounted. It's not the best, but we're gonna keep working at it until it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, feel free to share, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.